Hi guys, welcome to my new monthly manga haul video. In this video, we have some of the latest mangas from Japan, so it would be great if you could watch till the end. Feel free to let me know down in the comments below if you are reading any of the mangas here. Let's begin with the 10th volume of Blue Box. I'm still on volume 7, but I really really like this shonen romance manga. This is the first time we see so many characters on the cover, and it looks amazing. Everyone looks so happy here, and honestly, that's the vibe I got from this manga. I love the interactions between the characters and the pacing of the story. It is really comfortable, and it always reminds me of my teenage years. I also love how relatable the characters feel, the struggles and the emotions they went through. It is just like what we would experience in real life. This volume covers up to chapter 90, and I want to take my time to read it. We also get the beautiful bonus card for this volume featuring Chinatsu and Taiki. Next up, we have Dandadan, Dan, also the 10th volume. It is a shonen action manga I highly recommend, and it is very popular among the manga community. I'm still reading volume 7, but I really want to catch up with the story. Let's see how the inner cover looks like this time. We have the creatures profiles here, and I have to say, they look as creepy as usual. I'm surprised that they have this man in this manga. If you don't know what this man is, please google it. The story of Dandadan Dan is super interesting. I think it has a good balance of funny, serious, and sad moments. You can easily read tens of chapters in one sitting and still wanting to read more. They have some new merchandise and oh my god, they look so cute. Here's the bonus card featuring Momo and Okarun. Next up, we have Volume 17 of 2.5 Dimensional Seduction. It is easily one of my personal favorites of all time. I am currently reading Volume 11, so I have no idea who these characters are. Wow, we get a really cute bunny girl here. This is a manga about cosplay, but I think anyone who loves manga or anime in general should read this series. You will resonate very well with the characters because they are all weeps like we do. The anime adaptation for this manga has been announced as well, so I'm really looking forward to that. I made a video introducing this manga before, so please check it out if you haven't yet. This volume will cover up to chapter 135, but I think you can still start reading this manga if you want because you can read it very quickly. This is the bonus card for this volume and I love it, we get a full view of the bunny girl at the back. By the way, this manga also belongs to the edgy category, so please don't read it if you are too young. Next up, we have the 10th volume of Goddess Cafe Terrace. We have two versions for this volume, this one is the standard edition, and this one is the special edition. We can see Akane's wink here. If you're into harem manga like the Queen Central Quintuplets, I think you can check this out. The story gets more interesting when the girls start to make their moves. For the special edition volume, we get a booklet featuring Akane. We also get a beautiful set of postcards. Moving on, we have the second volume of Kindergarten Wars. Dog is featured on the cover this time, and we can see money around him because he is a swindler. This volume was actually released back in April, but I couldn't pre-order it because it was sold out before release. It is that popular. We also get to see him with a beauty filter on the inner cover. And this is his profile. All of the characters including him are kindergarten teachers, and we can see that he is extremely good at taking care of children. He also denies loving anyone at the moment, and it's really funny if you have read volume 1. This manga is being serialized on Jump Plus, and it is very new. The story is very funny and interesting, and I think if you like Spy X Family, you'll love this manga. We get a nice colored page featuring Rita, our female MC at the start of this volume, and this is Dog. The main characters were all ex-criminals, and their task right now is to protect the children inside the kindergarten. This volume covers up to chapter 15. Next, we have the latest volume, volume 3, and it was released in May. Hana is featured on the cover this time, and we can see her weapons around her as she is a grenade user. <laughs> Again, we get the beauty filter on the inner cover. Oh my god, she is so cute here. And we can see that she is not interested in anyone except for her Onichan. 
We can see here that the first volume was reprinted right after it was released, and the second volume was reprinted before release. It is just so popular and I won't be surprised if it's the next Spy X Family. Here's the bonus card for each volume. Next up, we have a new manga called Fabrican 100. This is the revenge story of our male MC Ashibi on the Fabricans or artificial humans that killed his entire family. I think this manga looks pretty dark and unique, so I decided to pick it up. This manga is currently being serialized on Shonen Jump, but you can read it for free on Manga Plus. We can see Ashibi with Fabrican number 100, whom he teamed up with to carry out his revenge. Let's do a quick flip through. Okay, this page of an empty mansion is pretty creepy. And we get 7 chapters for the first volume. The art style feels like a horror manga. I don't normally read mangas like this, but I thought I wanted to give it a try. I saw reviews saying that the build up is pretty slow, as you can expect from a big story. So yeah, let's see how it goes. I really hope that Jump doesn't cancel this series. And the bonus card for this volume. Next up, we have Gokuraku Gai, and this first volume actually came out in November last year. The story is about this woman and this guy who works in a red light district to solve people's problems. This manga is being serialized on Jump Square, which is a monthly manga magazine. We have some bonus content on the inner cover, and this is like they are trying to take the picture on the cover. I don't know what's going on, but this makes me want to read the manga so badly. This is actually my first manga from Jump Square and have seen some really good reviews on it. We have a lucky draw for the B2 poster here, Japanese mangas love to do this. Well, let's do a quick flip through. We have only 3 chapters in this volume, and because it's a monthly manga, all the chapters are pretty long. I can see why so many people talk about the art of this manga, it is just amazing. These are our main characters. Wow, that is badass. This waiter girl is pretty damn cute. Looks like there will be a lot of funny moments as well, so yeah, please check it out if you're interested. The bonus cards for the first volume. I feel like I would like this Mill MC, he looks so fun. We also have the second volume that was released in April. She looks super cool. And oh my god, I love the thighs. Oh my god, we again have the behind the scenes shots of the cover illustration. This is the first manga series I see with this design and I love it. We have 3 more chapters with some extra content. Oh my goodness, this art is next level. So that's Gokuraku Gai. We get a cute Polaroid for this volume. Next up, we have Tsukanuma no Ichika. It was published in 2021 and it was finished in just 3 volumes. It is actually a shoujo manga that I heard is really really good. If I'm not mistaken, it's a love story between a university student named Ichika and her professor. I haven't seen this design on many manga covers yet, it just feels beautiful. I love that we have some bonus content on the inner cover as well. This cover looks gorgeous. Alright, let's do a quick flip through as usual. That's a long list of contents. Seems like we'll have some dialogues in between the chapters as well. Before you get into reading this, I have to warn you that this seems like a very sad love story. Our female MC don't have much time left to leave, so every living moment she has is very precious. I think what makes this story so interesting is about how people deal with their relationships when they are so close to death. Let me show you the other volumes as well. You can feel the hot summer vibe from here. We have a mixture of sad and happy moments here. 
We also get some bonus content for this volume. I think this is the type of story that will make you treasure your daily lives. Apparently, this manga was very popular on the Japanese social media back then. Here's the third and final volume of the series, and it is incredibly beautiful. This is the kind of manga that I want to get into, knowing fully that it will have a sad ending. I don't know how many of you feel the same way as I do, but yeah, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, moving on to our final manga, we have Masamune Kun's Revenge. These are actually the new editions that was released along with the announcement of the TV anime season 2. We have Aki on the cover and this illustration is 10 out of 10. I love how adorable she looks here. The book itself also feels very premium. We have some manga panels on the inner cover as well. I couldn't remember much from season 1 but I think I enjoyed it a lot until the last few episodes of season 1. They were pretty terrible. So yeah, I'm going to catch up with this series before the second season of the anime, which is coming in July. As this is a new edition, the quality of the book is amazing. I have nothing to say but compliments for the paper and printing quality. Oh yeah, this volume is a 2-in-1, so it is pretty thick. There are more than 300 pages in this volume. This brings back so much memories. Aki is one of my favorite tsundere's of all time. And on the second volume, we get Neko on the cover. This volume was also released together with the first volume. We get some of the interesting moments on the inner cover as well. I am a big fan of Tave's drawing style, and she is an illustrator from Korea. And this volume covers volume 3 and 4 of the original version. We also get some beautiful bonus cards for the purchase. This is how the new edition volume compares to the normal Takobon. It is really huge and heavy. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to check out my previous manga haul videos. Feel free to comment down below if you have any manga recommendations for me, I will definitely check them out. That's it for the manga haul video of May 2023, hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in my next video. Take care and bye!